I'm one of the facilitators from the Futures Literacy Labs that explored the future of queer safe spaces in 2060. Hello, my name is Alicia and I'm one of the facilitators of uh, Futures Literacy Labs. Hello, my name is Marco Velasquez. I am 23 years old. I am originally from Mexico. Our team in Nottingham held the workshops over three Sundays across March and April via Zoom gathering a group of young LGBTQI individuals to discuss what the future of queer safe spaces should, could or would look like. We did the project across three Sundays at the end of March, at the beginning of April, and we had a participating community of Nottingham and the metropolitan area of the city. I wanted to be involved with this project because at a time when LGBTQIA plus identities are so politicised and kicked around by a political football, it's important for us to be asking how we can look after individuals. It was important because a queer community faces a lot of issues of discrimination and with uh, equal representation. We hope that projects such as ours will help to raise awareness and encourage people to seek solutions for current issues. I come from a country where I can see how the queer community is still very oppressed and the rights and the opportunities that members of this community have are far less than those for other people who do not identify as LGBTQ+. So one of the key things that we did was picking out Futures Literacy tools um, to help people organise their own thoughts on how they saw the future developing. We also had to develop a reframe scenario, which was a sort of twisted version of the future that was going to be interesting for people to explore potential things that weren't very likely to happen and they might not have been happy about happening, but it was an interesting way to see how people saw the future coming to them. I would like to bring this project or something similar to other parts of the world not only for it to stay in Nottingham or the UK, but to be taken to other countries like my home country, where it's still very needed and where there is a flame of people that want to move forward and that want to battle for the LGBTQ plus community. We plan to take our research to uh, LGBTQIA Youth Conference in Paris, so we can share what we've learned from other people and uh, together we can brainstorm on solutions and uh, on how can we improve the future. So we hope to take our research uh, to local businesses, charities, educational facilities and the council um, and get them to make queer safe spaces safer. Um, simple things like seeing more LGBTQIA plus people in positions of power may help younger generations feel more secure in a modern society. Mm -hmm.